Lake. <laughs> Hello YouTube, Jake is Mason here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about wearable technology and specifically Google Glass. Let's get to it. Okay, so when you think about wearable technology and you think about the things like Google Glass and the new smartwatches that are coming out, you think about something, is it worth it, what would I do with it, and how much will it cost? And now talking about Google Glass, the Google Glass Explorer Edition has been out for a while now. No, I do not have it. I wish I could have it. But no, I do not have it. Right now, if you get invited by Google, you will be able to pay for it with $1,500. And right now, yeah, it isn't the same price. It's not consumer friendly for someone like my mom to go out and buy Google Glass because she possibly, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't. But now, Google Glass, I want to talk about, is it worth it? So let's go ahead and get started. With Google Glass, they explore this. You don't get many things, but as I said, it's still in the beta, so they're still working on it, and they're still going to allow new developers to make new apps and things for it when it comes out. But right now, the only thing it can do is take pictures, shoot videos, Google Hangouts. You can navigate with the directions, any of the turn-by-turn -turn directions. You can search Google. You can send messages text messages since you have to have it linked up to your phone or Wi-Fi and you can do voice calls with the little speaker in it with the little microphone that's built in and then Google Glass 2.0 they have the little earbud that you can use as well if you don't really like the speaker that much but I think they're doing a good job with it with things that it can do and also have background apps like Twitter and Facebook and things like that and for me I think that it'll be amazing to use Google Glass because just imagine being in class with Google Glass on since they are having it for prescription you can have your prescription list is in the Google Glass and then the teacher won't be able to tell you to take them off or else you won't be able to see them be like it's too far and that actually works for me I don't know what happened to my vision I used to have 20-20 eye vision but now when I'm in the back of the class I can't see the board and I put on this girl's glasses the other day and I can see it clearly I can see clearly now the rain is gone so I can see clearly but now yeah they have a prescription glasses so I don't believe the teacher will be able to tell you to take them off she'll probably take them say you pay $500 for these glasses you don't really want the teacher to take them so I don't know it's whatever you risk it but I'll just be in class going through Twitter like I can write and look at a Twitter message and just be on Twitter like that that's simple hands free I could be writing watching a YouTube video while I'm writing constructing lines constructing angles geometry you could be watching how to construct an angle while doing it yourself that's how cool it is just it just have to imagine the thing that you can be able to do with it like I said YouTube but YouTube is not officially ready now but like I said once it comes out the developers will be able to make it more apps for it just imagine playing subway surfers I was talking to JK Tech on Twitter the other day we were talking about being able to play Temple Run and subway surfers on it imagine that just being class <laughs> jumping over trains and stuff that's just pretty crazy to me Google Glass is really cool and yeah you have videos which is another clean thing that I was talking about but it can also be creepy like just imagine looking at some guy and he just and he just has a picture of you it's as easy as that you probably won't even know that he's gonna do that he can just and take a picture of you that easily it's, it's, it's some creepy things towards it but the main thing that I want to talk about with Google Glass is the price and is it worth it to me I'm gonna get it no matter what because I really just want Google Glass I've been dreaming about this thing right now if I got invited I probably wouldn't be able to get it just because I just think it's fifteen hundred dollars here that's a lot it's gonna punch my wallet straight to the chin just psh. But no, $1,500, I don't really think I can get it. I've seen other people get it. I would be really tempted to get it, but Google Glass is $1,500 right now. Some people say it will go around $300 when it releases, but then some people say it's going to be higher than that. I say I pay about $500 for it, like, at least. If it costs $500, I'll get it. But if it costs $700, I don't know, that's pretty crazy for Google to make some wearable technology to cost $700. But I don't know, guys. Leave your opinions in the description down below. I want to say sorry that I haven't made a video in a long time. I'm back. I actually had a few days off the internet. Yeah, it was horrible. But I'm back, guys. New videos to come. Also, I'll leave some questions for the new Ask Eddie question and answers type thing that's coming up I probably sound tired right now I'm not tired because finally this stupid camera just cut off me in my yeah. middle of my stuff 
<laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, leave a like down below. I'm trying to be professional with this at the same time, but I don't want to be boring. So I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. That was a good tip that I learned. Don't be, you don't have to be boring in your videos to keep them informational. This video was informational to you guys. Leave a like or a description or leave a description. I'm losing my touch for not making videos for a while. I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta go feed my dog. Because I'm... Take his mason.